is different. Duncamp to Aaron Shingler comes into the back row. So captain again, Ryan Jones is still at lock, a less familiar position for him. Gethin Jenkins reclaims his place at loose head prop after a knee injury. The back line is stable, though, same again, and what more praise can be heaped upon it. A potent blend of power and skill epitomised by George North in the wing. Fullback Lee Halfpenny will continue with the place kicking duties. Scotland have made just one change in their pack, the familiar one for Sunday games, Ewan Murray out, replaced at tight head by Jeff Cross. So an all Edinburgh front row today. Locks Gray and Hamilton might fancy their prospects in the line out. In the backs, fly half Greg Laidlaw is not the biggest, but he brings perpetual motion. And Scotland need pace, giving up a huge amount of size, in particular the wings, Max Evans and Lee Jones. And on the bench, well, Wales' forward resources are stretched. Scarlet's lock, Lou Reed might make his debut. Scotland have three uncapped players in prop Ed Kalman, standoff Duncan Weir, and the exciting teenager Stuart Hogg. The referee for this one is from the frozen wastelands of France, Romain Poitz in charge here of a fixture which over the years has provided some classic encounters and Scotland in a little sort of hacker yeah. formation there. They did this last uh, week as well, what they'll do, they'll split late now and try and they'll throw the, the Welsh forwards into disarray, but um, I think they're just staying where they are, the Welsh, so it's going to be a very difficult game, you know, everyone expects Wales to win, but all the games against Scotland are always very tight, always great games, so I can't see any different today. We've seen some wonderful rugby over the years in this match, we hope we'll do so again. Laidlaw gets us underway on the second weekend of the RBS Six Nations. And Wales, an early touch for Dan Lydiot. And here goes this. Sparky backline carried for a moment there by Jonathan Davis. Stand, stand. And Phillips feeds Priestland. Good sends his kick up to the, the girders of the roof. Oh. And the chase is good, the gather is excellent. Roberts was there. And here is Toby Falatau, swats the side one into his opposite number, Denton offloads to Lee Halfpenny. And he finds his captain, Ryan Jones. It looks like they've come to play, the Welsh. Managing to offload as well, Priestland once more, and Lee Halfpenny, and Halfpenny threw himself, oh. then finds the offload to Roberts and tries to get the ball away to Jonathan Davis. Early danger for Scotland, only promise for Wales, but Scotland with a chance to clear. Well, they got an overlap. And they have it if Gray can claim it, he can, but then off the knees. Lee yeah. Jones gets it at the second attempt. Yeah, just off the, the knee of the Scottish player, as the referee called advantage over. See, Max Evans is still limping a little bit out there in his blue boots at the top of your picture. <laughs> Kick goes up from Cusseter. Oh, and forward comes Alex Cuthbert for Wales. Nobody really there to claim it, no. but it comes back on the Welsh side, and they have numbers now out wide. Long pass flung out, and the overlap dies. And Jonathan Davis shores it up again. Ball out. Back two. Wales again. Priestland decides to send it to the heavens towards Denton, who waits. And the big number eight decides to call for the mark. Yeah, slow ball there, so a good... Uh, Defence by Scotland, forced Reese Priestland as an umbrella defence. No well, Denton into Falatau is a big collision there. Scotland get the penalty. I think we'll uh, take a breath. On the floor. What a start. I think both uh, sides are, are looking to put some width on it. This is half penny's break. Bit disappointed. A dummy run of uh, Jonathan Davis, which just holds okay, Lamont the there. And Jonathan Davis, yeah, here we okay, are again. Okay. There's the break. Spots Lamont should have taken him, but great off the ball running. And Jonathan Davis just overruns it a little bit. Otherwise, you know, he was in. But it certainly looks like it is going to be an open, entertaining game. Both sides with dry ball and hopes of running. Richie Gray clambers up there to take that one for Scotland. Strokosh in there. Sets off with Jacobson. Jacobson becoming Scotland's most capped prop today, passing Tom Smith. 62nd cap. 
Tim Hamilton hurling out Ryan Jones, but Wales have the penalty. Holding on three blue. Scotland just, clinging on to the ball. Just watch Lydia's work here. He goes in low, straight away. They work in tandem. Other guy goes in, Jackal. Just watch Lydia out of the blocks, maybe slightly offside, but just watch. I think it's Gessling Jenkins who goes straight over the top. He's isolated, but he was nailed so quickly, went to ground. No opportunity to release the ball. Priestland knocked into touch. I think Halfpenny could have just about stretched a, a hamstring or two to go for goal there, but uh, a decent touch finder. This one uh, area what uh, you know they weren't pleased with the line out, so oh, oh there we are. First one fails, taken at the back instead by Rennie. That was a very, very Five. pacey open side, Rennie. And Lament. That applies his trade with the Scarlets. For now. Six stay! And the chase is good, the kick is well placed. Halfpenny can't quite take it as Max Evans is bearing down on him. And Scotland have the penalty. Yeah, well, this is set to the news. Wonder if uh, they go for goal, certainly within the range. He was knocking him over from there in the, in the warm up. And again, good chase, just loses the ball. Good pressure by, uh, by Evans on him. But again, that, this all comes from the first line out. So the first chance of points will go to Greg Laidlaw, nephew of the great Roy Laidlaw, scrum half for Scotland and Lions in the 80s. He's been knocking them over for Edinburgh regularly. But this is different. He drifts wide. Just pulled it a little bit. Well, that's getting just about to the threshold yeah. of his range. He's not the biggest kicker, so perhaps just, just forcing a little yeah. bit more out of it. It usually happens. And Will's just taking a moment's thought before this 22 One, restarts. Two, guys. And Priestland goes for length. And waiting there is Lament, Rory Lament. Strokosh and Richie Gray, big men lurking on the fringes. Cassiter finds Rennie. Ball out. Jim Hamilton in midfield. Release! Laidlaw this time finds Nick De Luca, but some fierce tackles coming in, and Scotland being repelled. Denton on the crash ball. Defensive. Uh, you know, line speed is uh, is very good with uh, with Wales up out of the blocks. Playing to prize of offside from Scotland, they'll keep chirping away at the referee for that. Cusseter frees himself from Hugh Bennett. And Denton again trying to wrestle his way on. Well, they're, they're struggling to get over the gain line. Actually creeping backwards, Scotland at the moment. Sean yeah. Lamont, no way through. Ten phases, they've gone back. 20 yards or so, and Wales now looking for the turnover. And it looks as Phillips digs that they might have it, but Scotland have the penalty, a groan from the Millennium Stadium. Three and two he calls. Not staying on your feet, great defence. Really aggressive at the contact and tackle area, forcing the, the Scottish offensive players back. Is he on his feet? No, that... that very difficult to stay on your feet when someone comes in from behind and uh, knocks you over. And when the defence is up as quickly as that, Jonathan, you're just looking perhaps to mix it up and pop a kick over the top occasionally. You have to make them think, you know, maybe put the little grubber in or just turn them with a slow it's ball, you know, in a cut and a quick defensive speed line. You put yourselves under pressure. Quick line out taken by Ford to Jacobson at the front. And he rolls on for a little bit. More available. Forwards again, set off. Hands away! Leave it for! Jacobson clears out for Cusseter to feed more forwards. Captain Ross Ford is there. 
that's a lot better by four because he take, took the ball right on the gain line. Oh. Oh, pass fed to Jones, but he was being watched and read by Jonathan Davis. It thumped him back. This is a turnover, otherwise it's a penalty. He's got to leave it go. And now they've got numbers out wide on the right-hand side. Oh, the kick goal charge down, it falls to Richie Gray. Can Scotland take advantage of this now as he powers on? Out to Lee Jones again, tries to cut back in field. Cassiter to Ford once more, and Scotland to the edge of the 22. Ball loose, and no real danger if Wales can move this. Great tackle, that is. There's Rory Lamont firing up there to disrupt. Had to make that tackle, Rory Lamont. But Wales have the penalty here. It could have been far worse for Scotland. Could have been worse. Read that exceptionally well, Rory Lamont. This is the wrong option by uh, Mike Phillips. He looks, there's space behind, but poor execution. And then there's the break. He's very good in the loose, isn't he, Richie Gray? It's a big okay. man to pull down. There's an injury to the, we'll the Welsh the hooker. I think it's a, a blood. There's the penalty. You know Richie Gray's big one, he even looks big compared to the, the Welsh back line. There is uh, Hugh Bennett, who very possibly is well, he's going to be patched up or taken off for a blood replacement. There is Richie Gray. Very open game. You wish your blood? And the replacement, replacement hooker for Wales, Ken Owens, the Scarlets hooker. He's, he's looking wait. a bit dazed as well, you know, not only blood, he's, he's looking out. very dazed. Oh, that's a... So if he goes, uh, holding his ear in place, lest it fall off, but uh, I think that'll be a temporary thing. Well, he's looking a bit uh, groggy, isn't he? He's walking off, he had a, a... It's not only a cut, I think, he's had a, a bang to the head, just... Tick, there we are, there's John Williams telling him, look, just hang on now. Stay on the line, yeah. So it's going to be once uh, Hugh Bennett goes off uh, a second cap for uh, Ken Owens. He might be back on. Let's hear quickly from Dan Parks down on the touchline. Yeah, I'm alongside Dan uh, Andrew. Uh, first ten minutes of Greg Laidlaw. Dan, what have you made of them? Yeah, it's been a good start, actually. Uh, we, we got stuck down here for about uh, ten phases or so. We didn't go anywhere. I think that's where we sort of look up and just assess, maybe get down the ball the other end. But um, it's been very good down here. We put a high ball up and put a lot of pressure on Lee Halfpenny. I hope to see that continue. That's uh, Dan Parks with are, Gareth Thomas down on yes. the touchline. Just... Gareth Thomas, Graham Thomas. <laughs> Wales now with the attack, and here is George North. First hands on the ball. Wait, wait. On the line. Hands. Hands. There's another injury now for Wales. Jamie Roberts is down. He doesn't look too clever, but they're attacking there now. They might still have space, and all Schindler is well brought down. Advantage, my goodness, Scotland's right? defence had to be sharp there. No advantage. Little knock on from Scotland. Wales have the scrum. No knock on. And you, still, Brent. Jamie Roberts is down. He's down, yeah, but Schindler is very quick, so just watch him. Tries to get on the outside of the defender, long Denton. Breaks. That's a long great breaks. tackle. Yeah. Good play by uh, nice, Priestland as well. Breaks. Just to try and get him on the outside, using his pace. Interesting, obviously, to note that the footnotes out as we look at Jimmy Roberts, that Aaron Shingler is the brother of Stephen Shingler, that Scotland wanted to play for them, but Stephen Shingler played for Wales under-20s. They both are a mother from Dumfries. The time is on. And Shingler, yes, he's played sevens rugby for Wales. He has that pace. He's very, very quick. It's interesting to look at the ballers. I'm sure Martin, uh, you know, will, uh, will look at that for us, Martin Williams, because he plays a lot of his uh, rugby at... Number six, see how the balance is in the back row there. Pause, engage. Early engagement. Well, that happens an awful lot. Early engagement from Scotland, free kick, and North is there. Wales' second assault led by Ryan Jones. Out wide, Cockburn is there, but Jonathan Davis carries it on, first of all. Always beats the first man, Jonathan Davis. Hands on. Ball goes loose and uh, lost forward by Wales and Scotland. I uh, will breathe again on this occasion. Good Cassiter clears 
his lines himself. Good distance, Cuthbert is there. Infield to Halfpenny. Good play. Switches with North. <laughs> and North runs into Gray and Hamilton and certainly doesn't come off second best. He's been hit very hard, George. And Jim Hamilton acknowledges the hit. Well, perhaps he has come off second best. Well, Release George 16. is big, but I think Jim is bigger. Met his match on that occasion. Yeah. Lenny now. He's up. He's up, though. Cusseter with the box kick. A little bit too long, perhaps. Yeah. Halfpenny has time, and there is Cuthbert. And Cuthbert straight through. Here goes Alex Cuthbert. Well brought down in the end. He's a fine broken field runner. Cuthbert played a lot of sems. Good finisher. There's Gethin Jenkins back in the side. A prop who loves the loose. And carried on by Ian Evans. Great Scottish defence, though. The noise rises. A little chip through from Priestland, but easily watched and dealt with. And that's a wonderful clearing kick. Doesn't quite find touch, but... Good chase up there as well, and Picking Scotland find in. themselves deeper into Welsh land. Rory Lamont waiting. And Sean Lamont, rather. It's a long pass from there. <laughs> Delayed log in, little chip through yeah. just uh, beyond Jones and friends into touch. Yeah, and it's uh, not a game where you're going to have too many times to breathe. Oh, I think uh, just turning him a little bit, just watch his hit as he's going down. Bang! The line. Jim Hamilton nails him, steals the ball from him. No. Oh, what a collision. Scottish defence has been solid up to now. Jim Hamilton won, George North. Five men. Nil, but he'll be back. Five to five. <laughs> it's amazing what he's achieved in his young career so far. Still just 19 Wales, better ball that time off the line. There is Falatau. Shingler is almost carried back, but got the ball away. Good offload, yeah. Ken Owens was there. Little slip out the back of the hand from Phillips. Works eventually for Wales. I think Mike Phillips has been caught a couple of times. Just needs to get that ball away a little bit quicker. Deep to Priestland. We saw a little bit of green space behind the Scottish lines. There is Rory Lamont. Blue! Again, playing the channels, no angle for the kick to touch. So here is Priestland. And out wide to Alex Cuthbert, the other behemoth of a winger for Wales. He's well watched as well by Laidlaw. And the ball out into touch. Yeah, I think off Denton. Very, very physical game. Big defence by Scotland. A lot of the Welsh boys are, are feeling it. Another 70, 60, 70 minutes of this, and uh, players will be killing over. Time off, the blood coming back. 11 blue. And uh, Max Evans is blue. hobbling okay. off at the moment. Yes. He's actually walking off okay. I wonder if that's yeah, a blood yeah, that's replacement. Fine, or... no it's done, Gwen. Well, on comes for his first okay. cap earlier than you might have thought. Stuart Hogg, who is a very, very bright talent. The Hoyt boy who plays for Glasgow. On to replace Max Evans. Yes, uh, seen him play. He's got a great try, didn't he, against England Saxons in broken field. So, Well, he'll go to full back, and uh, Rory Lamont probably will go to the wing as the kick goes high and not much else from Phillips. I think it's red ball. <clears throat> red ball. Martin Williams, what have you got for us? Yeah, I'm just going to show you really. There's been a lot of talk all week about how dangerous Wales are, at, how Wales are attacking. Uh, just look at their defence here. It's what they build the whole game plan on. How they they don't affect. Uh, they don't. They don't put too many players in the contact. They've always got bodies on their feet, and Scotland are con constantly behind the behind the game line. Thanks, Martin. It's a numbers game out there in defence. Well organised Welsh defence. It just shows uh, how quick they are. You know, they get over that game line very quickly. 
penalty to Wales from that scrum. Three on the four. Three on the four. And this one would be kickable. Will big, they take that option? It's a big kick. He's coming over. Lee half penny. Wrong better for the throw, please. Yeah, I thought they jumped to Rod. Wrong better. There we are. Ten. I don't think. Uh, I think they're going for touch. Actually, there's a scrum collapsing. Oof. Reese Priestland with the touch finder, and it will take Wales into the Scottish line out. Ross Ford having a, a chat with the referee saying that uh, they're hinging, forcing us down. Six men, six. The gamesmanship there by Mr. Ford. Receiver. All part of the game. So it's Wales replacement hooker. Ken Owens, and uh, again it goes horribly wrong for Wales at the line-out. First knock-on came from Wales, Scotland have the scrum. Well, Ryan Jones is uh, complaining that and they're all over the jumpers, just watch, they're closing the line, putting pressure, good pressure by Scotland. Just watch, they get up early, closing the line. Accuracy with the bending. And again, the Achilles heel. It was the one area of their game which really didn't work at all last week in Dublin. And it looks to be continuing in that theme. Yeah, it just takes all momentum from them. Great attacking position. And now Scotland will clear it. And Scotland have a penalty. Yeah. Ross Ford is uh, His little chat had its effect. His little chat had its effect. Yes. Yeah, 16. I can see in the far touchline that Hugh Bennett has been patched up, so he'll be coming back on to try his luck at the line-out in that blood replacement. So Ken Owens' appearance ends for the moment. Back on comes Hugh Bennett. Wait, 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 wait! No. One line. Yeah, first half possession. You know, On him. Not, not Red, much no. in it really, but uh, back, back. that's uh, the okay. big difference. Scotland have had no field position whatsoever. Again, the go-to man is Richie Gray for Scotland. Ryan Jones was almost up there, and Greg Laidlaw, but Scotland still with him. There's Ford again popping up in the fly-half position, trying to carry. It's carried well for him. Carried no. very well. No, no. Laidlaw again and. Right to De Luca tries to slip through. Ford again, this time punched back by Jones watch. and Jenkins. Just watch how quick Lydia was out of the blocks there. Laidlaw decided to kick this time. Lee Halfpenny. A bit of confusion there for Scotland, but eventually. Rory Lamont has it. Good call, though. And still going. Step. But again, the defensive line is more red than, uh, than blue there. Again, the cries of offside coming from Scotland. Not you can hear inside. them rising up from the pitch. Rennie. And Scotland are taking it and struggling to breach that gain line. Richie Gray. Tries his best. Ross Ford. Just keep their patience. That's all Scotland got to do again. Look at how many people in that ruck. Just one on the ground. No numbers. Here's oh. the look at a loose, loose pass. It's well tidied up by Rory Lamont. Laidlaw and De Luca into Denton. Tries the offload and it works well enough. Ross Rennie now. And Rennie is quick. Rennie going himself, looking for the final pass. Denton, huge complaints from the number eight who picks up himself now and shovels on. No hands, run! The ball slowed down. Wales set their defence again. They just need to cut, you know, keep their patience now, Scotland. Go through the phases. Ross build, Ford. Build the pressure. They're a little bit too tight, they're on the ruck now, but that's what they were looking for. 
Just what there's no Red players Coleman. there, so they've got to advantage to Scotland. They have a penalty coming, they might have more. Sean Lamont did his bit. A little bit of a knock-on, so come back for that advantage, and Scotland have a very good chance of the first points of this, well, pulsating match. Yeah. A little bit uh, condensed they were behind that ruck. Just watch, they work the short side, well played. Inside ball, and again, a, a great angle. Rennie and he's away, but unfortunately, no support there again. He needs support quicker. Laidlaw gets to him, yes, and unfortunately, that uh, again, the line break he doesn't, bring. doesn't come to anything. Yeah, there is slowing the ball down just that split second. There's a big hand of Ian Evans in there. And Scotland have been up against it for much of the opening quarter, but good chance here to take the lead and Greg Laidlaw does just that and Scotland in front at the Millennium Stadium and that's what they have to do when they get into that red, red zone the danger area come away with some points immaterial if it's a try or not just chip away and get that scoreboard ticking over you don't need to score tries to win games Restart from Wales nearly works very well indeed, but Rory Lamont is now operating on the wing with Stuart Hogg at fullback. Takes it in. And the advantage was there for Scotland for the little knock on a couple of phases ago, and Scotland will have the scrum. Well, after this, we will have a red button forum. Lots to talk about at the end of this. Strange weekend in the Six Nations. You can email us at the address you saw there or Twitter, hashtag BBC Six Nations. That's at five o'clock. Gwen, Gwen on! Gwen on! Long binding, long binding. Come close, come close. I don't, I'm not sure you reach your open up on the shooter. Come close. This is the right part. Gwen on, yeah? Gwen on! Wait, sorry, yeah. Come up, Richie. Come forward, yeah? That's it. Crutch! Seat! Yes! Touch! Pause, engage. Scrum's crumbling again. Wait the ball, guys. Wait the ball. Binding red. Binding. Roman Poit just makes everything clear. Hold. Nice, nice. Crutch. Hold. Sink. Touch. Pause, engage! Pause, no! Mess again, but the referee says, let's get on with it. Denton picks up and uh, runs into Mike Phillips. I think, he needs, uh, you know, I think Scotland need to get Denton into the game. He's a very good ball carrier. Laidlaw offers it short to Sean Lamont. There's a Jeff Cross. He's isolated there. Cussett does well to get in. Just look at that. Very slow, Laidlaw. Oh, Custer's got to bang this. And Custer it is. Just a little bit too far again, Andrew. Going down the line, but Halfpenny again has time to gather and think, and here is Cuthbert. He's been impressive so far, and he's got the ball still going. Mighty man on the wing, and on to Shingler. Good play, Shingler, Seven good support. Penalty to Wales, Seven side entry, entry from Scotland, and quickly taken by Mike Phillips. On to Priestland. If this is recycled quick, they've got numbers on the right-hand side. They go left. Yeah. Jonathan Davis, again, looking for that round-the-shoulder offload. There's Ryan Jones. Priestland. And Phillips tries to sneak through himself. Bruce Priest and Michael blind side here. Michael on the short side. Cuthbert is crying out for it on the wing. 
Scotland marshal their defence, and in fact, a little knock on. Scotland will have the scrum when Wales were threatening. No, 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 no. Good anything, change anything, of tactics anything. there, just anything. taking it up the middle. I think Strokos has uh, dislocated a finger on the far side. Great play, Rennie. Interestingly, as well, the, the talk about George North before the game, but Cuthbert's had a very impressive opening to this match. Yeah, he's played a lot of sevens, Cuthbert, and uh, loves the, the broken field running. Tries to, you know, eye up who he's up against, okay, takes him on the right. outside. Deceptively quick as well. Just watch, ball in two hands. He's only six foot six. That's Strokosh he saw off there. You know, I think Strokosh damaged his, uh, his hand up, there as well. And that should be better. A little bit of treatment there to Strokosh. Let's get the thoughts of Shane Williams. A bit Captain, smaller, but uh, more tries than Alex Cuthbert, but a very impressive the, the start, Shane. Yeah, any definitely. Players? I, you know, um, last week he'd have been disappointed, obviously, not to get involved much in the game, but uh, coming off uh, at half time as well. But he's had two good breaks already. Uh, what impressed with is his work rate. He's coming off his wing and he's looking to to take on the Scottish defence. So fair play to him. We do the scrum again, and this has been the only part of the game which has been a bit stodgy and uh, unsatisfactory. Yes. I think this will go to Hogg here. I think he's in the. Uh, the stand-up position, good strum by Scotland. Oh, but uh, quickly up there was Phillips. And Scotland in a bit of bother now, still, they have the ball, though. I th still think Hogg or the scrum half will kick this. Yeah, definitely going back to Hogg. Oh, no, one again. Well, he's certainly lurking there for the kick, but it's carried by Jacobson to buy a few more yards. Custer again taking his time and he decides himself to send it down the line. North is there, danger. Infield he feeds it though to Halfpenny. It's good chase though by Scotland, very good chase. Step. And Phillips, well, the advantage is there. Phillips. You could see what it was on his mind. He just ran into the blue shirt knowing that he would get the penalty. I think this will be uh, an easier kick. Shot. Strokosh was there. That's what you call milking a penalty. But, yeah. <laughs> chance to get on level terms. No, no, that's fine. Thanks. 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 <laughs> Shot. Outrage. Craig, please. Now playing with Bayon. On the line, please. And Strokos, the man on his way there. Well, I thought that uh, Halfpenny would take the kicks, and so it is. Strum cut off and uh, kicked so well, and that massive pressure kick yeah. against Ireland. With all, with all the possession ways of hard Scotland, defended very very well no clear opportunities for them yet just testing to their defense so they're now going for goal a lean a look from halfpenny and he knows now it is good and wales are level half an hour gone here in cardiff you know with all the uh, the attractive Open play, attacking play, defences are still on top. Great strike, half penny. So away we go again. It hasn't really seemed like a game that's just been two penalties. Far more entertaining than that, but there we are. Phillips a little bit loose to Priestland. He has to set himself back, but... Uh, Gives a good distance. Denton is there. Again, Lydia taking the charge. There he is. There's a lot of referees on there, isn't it? There's the voice of Ross Rennie who was loud there. Ford again. And Laidlaw and Gray. Runs well, Gray. And he's trying to get it back. Yeah. And uh, well, Scotland have the penalty. Referee says Wales not rolling away. Yeah. 
And this is too far for Leeds, isn't it? Laidlaw, and he's gone for a very, very oh. big touch and uh, bitten off a bit too much, doesn't find touch. Yeah, it's a bad mistake, you know, the build pressure. He went for glory, missed the touch. Lee Jones has it, and he One, sends two. it long, half penny waits. And uh, Lee half penny returns, Denton lurks again. Uh, first run for Hogg. Here he is. And Hogg decides to send it over the head of George North. North does well. And listen to the noise inside the Millennium Stadium as North crashes into Stuart Hogg. Yeah, that's for a bad kick. Good tackle there from Ford and Phillips. No, then. Ball goes to cut, but Denton is marking him, so it's a mismatch. Well, it's a big collision, certainly. Halfpenny, and Halfpenny's well. Watch there by Cusseter. Well done, well, Scotland. What a tackle by Cusseter. Scotland have the scrum. North, good take. Takes both. There's the tackle, slips. Tries to get on the outside of Cusseter. That's a very good tackle. Very quick up on his feet as well. Let's go, guys. Incidentally, Max Evans, who left the field for Stuart Hogg to come on. We understand it's a, an ankle ligament strain, ankle ligament injury. That's why Max Evans is off. He's quite often a, a dangerous attacker for Scotland, but Stuart Hogg is on in his place, who is a 19 year old full of promise. Yeah, I think he was a, maybe a little bit more balanced, you know, out and out, full back. Lamont is comfortable on the wing. Crutch! Touch! Pause! Angry! Scotland scrum under a bit of pressure there, but away it goes to. Cusseter and laid low and on to Sean Lamont. De Luca gets it to Rory Lamont. Big collision. Runs into Jonathan Davis. Scotland trying to free that ball. Shingler's done well there. Still just Scottish ball. Gray is there. A mountainous man. No, they got numbers. Jamie Robbins is calling. Had to make the tackle, Jamie Roberts, he knew they were short. Good carry by the Scottish forwards, though. And again, they've realigned on the left-hand side. Laidlaw just delays the pass a little bit as Strokosh takes it. He's isolated. Yes. There is the penalty for Wales. Hanging on to that ball on the tackle. Yeah, just isolated there. I think he read... He read that very well. It was telegraphed up that, that ploy. He's got to come, a, you know, a bit, a bit quicker. Just tight it off the shoulder. Priestland once more sends it into touch. Strokos, the man who was caught on his own. Very finely poised this game. You know, they've both had a crack at defences. As I said, five, both five. defences. Very, very solid. You see, their Wales have lost two lineouts so far. Hugh Bennett back on the field. That one works better. Yeah, again, off the top ball. No option. Mike Phillips had the kick. Lee Jones, very lively winger. He does well. And Selkirk man. Little chip over the top from Laidlaw. Oh, it comes off a. A big mitt of George North. Yeah. Six. Priestland will send it high again. And again, just perhaps a little bit too long. Hog. Only uh, Kevin Jenkins chasing there, so. Six away. I take him on. Good play. Oh, lovely offload. And the Rory Lamont is quickly muscled towards touch. <laughs> Jacobson bounces off one tackle. Kevin Jenkins. Cassiter tries to 
make his own way through. Good variety in their play as well, now hitting up on the fringes. And by hitting up on the fringes, what, what Scotland are doing is now the Welsh defence will tighten around that area and hopefully exploit it out wide. Scotland take it deep again, there's Denton. Rennie takes it again on the fringes with good defence. The look and Strokosh and then Denton again linking up there is the strength of David Denton. Scotland putting the phases together well. Gray offloading nicely to Rennie and Jeff Cross. It's good play by Scotland. Whitlaw again, again goes deep to Lee Jones. No way around Jonathan Davis. Phase after phase, Great just looking for a final again, breakthrough. Wales defence still standing from Laidlaw. Just seeing the defence of Shingler up so yeah. quickly there. They just haven't worked it out yet, are they, Scotland? Leave it, Red! Back it comes again on the blue side. Ross Rennie meets Shingler, finds Jim Hamilton. It's a ferocious effort from Scotland. Now, Pounding away here at Wales. There's Richie Gray trying desperately to get it out there to Stuart Hogg. Yeah, Wales a man down. No yeah. heads on the floor. It's not looking very good. I think that's. Is it Bev? I'm not sure who it is actually on the far side. It might be Phillips in there, is it? I'm not sure it's made the figure to see from here. To push in Custer to Gray again. The Welsh defence is doing so well here though. Scotland back to the 10 metre line and still. I think it's George North. And that's where they got trying to try. And it's Hogg looking. Oh, wonderful pick up from Rory Lamont. And Rory Lamont. What the tackle. Down. Superb tackle. Gets it away to Hogg again. Right. Scotland now piling on, trying to lay that ball back. Good clear out. They need to make the most of this. Wales down to 14 men. I think it is George North. I think it's George North. Still Scotland coming. And still they have that ball. Good drive. Up to within five metres. Coming towards the end of this first half. Wales still down to 14 men. Uh, doesn't look good for George North. He hasn't come up of his, onto his feet yet. He's gone off the pitch. And Scotland looking to take advantage of that extra man. Five metres from their first try in five matches. And 20 to, phases. They've got to try and work that right hand side. They're still short on the right hand side. Wales. George Nall is down, he's off. And so close now. Denton at four oh. metres. Oh, a little fumble there. What a mistake. What a mistake. That's it. all about the composure. They didn't have to go. They are the extra man. A familiar tale, 21st phase, a little knock-on, so close to the line. Yes. White line fever, unfortunately. Just snatched out of it. Gethin Jenkins does exceptionally well there. No, I'm not sure that's a forced error. Well, sad sight there. For a big talent, but the giant has been uh, felled here. George North is off. James Hook is on. That's what happens here. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh yeah. Jonathan Davis's leg coming in on his ankle there. Just takes his right ankle away, doesn't it? Totally accidental. So Hook is on, and he will go to full back. Lee Half and he will go to the wing. Come, come As had to happen last week when Cuthbert went off. Yeah, yeah. Interesting to see what uh, what yeah. they do, you know, whether Hook then comes in and plays at second 5 8 when they go through the phases. Great hit by Gethin Jenkins of that ruck. Dislodged the ball. Big scrum for Wales, just clear it now. Regroup because they're under the cost. Scotland finishing the half a lot stronger. What an opportunity. Pass, 
Down she goes, I wonder if the referee... Oh, scrum again, scrum again, the clock beyond the 40-minute mark. Guys, on this side, not head to head, not head to head. I've got two options here now, though, because uh, Jonathan Davis is a left footer. Reece, it might be the better option because Priestland is uh, obscured slightly by the post, the upright saw. Might go to Jonathan Davis, the clock says half time, so it doesn't matter where it goes. You need to get it out, they're under pressure there. Well, it's a right old mess now, Wales still have it though. Yeah, good scrum by Scotland, but Toby Falato played well. Pop it out, says Mike Phillips with a lazy boot. A very, very interesting half comes to an end. Just a penalty apiece, but so much to talk about. Yeah, you know, very entertaining game. They've both thrown the ball about, but as I've mentioned, defence is really, really on top. The speed of the defensive line is, is very, very good, and it's uh, not many try scoring opportunities. Maybe one there at the end by Scotland, and that, you know, could have been the, the missed opportunity in the first half. Three points all, we look forward to the second half at the Millennium Stadium. The 117th meeting between Wales and Scotland. How much have Wales been unsettled by the loss of captain Sam Warburton? Nil-nil until the 23rd minute. Greg Laidlaw's penalty after good work from the Scottish forwards. Wales have showed flashes of what they did so well in Dublin. Lee Halfpenny's on kicking duty, picking up where he left last week, but Scotland once again lacking that composure to get over the try line. Well, at one stage during that half, Wales had the lion's share of possession. It's 3-3, Lee Halfpenny, Greg Laidlaw. Let's get a view of Dan Parks with Graham Thomas. Thanks, Jason. Well, there was a lot of concern over George North at the end of that half, just before he went off, Dan, uh, and a lot of concern amongst Wales fans of what was happening on the pitch as well. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's great if you're a Scotland fan. I think certainly towards the end of that first half, it was great what Scotland were doing there, just building the, uh, the phases, the momentum was really getting there. It was just a shame that we uh, we funneled it at that last, the last hurdle there, but um, hopefully we can come out in the second half and put more of that pressure on as we saw at the end. Is there a little concern in the back of your mind that, again, they've had pressure but haven't converted it into points? Yeah, as we were saying earlier, I think Scotland had two chances inside inside the half until the last part there, and we had two shots at penalty. So, you know, that was a positive on the Scotland side of things. But as I said, it was disappointing at the end there not to get over the line. But um, ho hopefully in the second half we can. And what should Scotland's approach be in this second half? Well, I was listening to the comments by the commentary team and they're making, you know, basically saying we've got to keep varying what the Welsh defence is doing, you know, not, not flinging the ball wide all the time so the defence can stay wide. <coughs> keep dragging them in and, and make it difficult for them. Thanks, Dan. Cheers. Well, after 20 minutes of the first half, Wales had the majority of the possession. Then it changed just after Greg Laidlaw's penalty. And look at the amount of tackles that Wales have had to make, 97 compared to Scotland's 45, which tells a story. Wales have won four lineouts, but they've lost two. And pretty similar story to what happened in Dublin last week. It's only three all, Andy, but you can't take your eyes off it. It's a cracking game, isn't it? Sometimes you don't need tries for excitement, and both teams have really contributed massively to that first 40 minutes. Both defences have been very strong, and there's been, there's been some good attacking play as well. Shane? Yeah, well, exactly that. You know, they've, they've both thrown exact, absolutely everything at each other. I think fitting the second half will, will be a big factor because when you're defending for, for long periods of time, it really does take it out of you. Uh, both teams look quite tired going in half time there, so fitness is going to be a big one. And I know you've picked up on Alex Cuthbert. Good to see him getting involved in the game. Yeah, I'm chuffed for him. You know, he, he, got, he got started uh, involved early on in the game. Two good runs. You can see, you know, he's working, he's looking for ball, probably because he came off in uh, the, the second half last week. Um, would have been a bit disappointed with that really so and there's been a lot of emphasis on George so he's come out today and he's proven his worth and hopefully he can get his hands on the ball a bit more and that big Welsh back line we've seen it threaten yeah they have I mean, they, they've been potent there's been a lot of broken field play and uh, and they're just so good at it and you see offloading here Priestland takes on to half penny just pins his ear back and, and goes and they had a few chances like that they, they got the first sort of break and they couldn't then get the continuity and this is Cuthbert comes again off half penny he just looks up and it's a straight foot race between De Luca and he loses it and Cuthbert again gets in behind Scotland good tackle there by Cusseter and it still didn't go to anything so 
you know, we've got another, we've got a third example here when George North now gets it, takes it. Look at the power of Richard Gray tackles, and, and Jim Hamilton comes in and makes it's a, a big good hit, tackle. Well, you've got three massive men there. Yeah. Two of them are second rows, and George North stood toe to toe with them. I think what they do very well, Wales, as well, they, they fill the pitch. You know, they get a winger on each side, which spreads the, the Scottish defence and makes it more difficult, makes the holes a little bit bigger, hence the Cuthbert breaks. And, uh, you know, they've got to keep doing that when they get the balls well, to spread them a little bit like they did in Ireland and create those one-on-one -on -one chances. Bad news for Warren Gatland is that George North has gone off and we hear that he's twisted his ankle. Very, very bad twist there. Yeah, you can see that. and It's a shame. I mean... Even uh, all the Scottish fans you know, will be disappointed because he's such a good player. You want to see him play. He's an exciting player. I really hope it's not serious, but sometimes an, an injury like that can take more than a few weeks, so he might be out for a few games. Yeah, he's going to spend a bit of time in that cryotherapy, isn't <laughs> I he? Bet he I bet he can't wait. I bet he can't wait. I bet he can't wait. But, uh, no, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a shame, really, because he'd, he'd been on a high from last week. He's come on. He's done very well today as well, and uh, to have that as well, you know, means probably going to mean a couple of weeks. Chris Cassiter is giving Greg Laidlaw some very quick clean ball. Yeah, he is. I mean, and Greg Laidlaw has come in obviously uh, for this first start. He missed his missed his first kick, um, but the great thing about Greg Laidlaw, it won't put him off his game. And he's been controlling things. The ball's been in his hands an awful lot. What he's done here, this is the Welsh defensive line. Scotland are obsessed by putting it in behind Dave Denton there, but Jonathan Davis reads it, and Lee Jones just gets man and ball. Scotland just seem to be, this is their default play in their backs, is put it behind a, a, a runner, and uh, Jonathan Davis snubbed it, uh, snuffed it out very well. You can see it from a different angle. He just read it, and they did it all last week, and uh, Wales obviously did their homework and saw it. And then th there was a great opportunity for Scotland to exert real pressure, and Greg Laidler went for a fantastic touch find rather than just making touch, and you can see that that would have been a great position for Scotland. But by and large, for the first 40 minutes, he's done OK. How much of that is down to nerves missing touch? I don't think it's nerves, not by that stage. That was 30 minutes into the game, you're settled down. If that was the first minute, then possibly, but not in the 30th minute. He's, uh, he's doing okay. We've all been impressed as well with the shift that Scottish back row is putting in, Shane. Yeah, well, there's always going to be a battle today in the back row. Uh, they've, you know, they've worked their socks off, to be fair. Um, like, what I ho also I've been impressed with is Richie Gray. He's got this tremendous knack of, of turning out the right, you know, first and second receiver. And he offloads almost every time, but uh, the back row have been tremendous. They have been. This is Dave Denton to Ross Rennie. Yet another line break, but if you just stop it here, look, that's only Greg Laidlaw. But look, there's Richie Gray, there's Jeff Cross, there's Hamilton, Jacobson. They're trying to get in support, but there's nobody there. If they were backs and they'd have the pace, maybe Scotland then could have made that offload mm. and get in the, the try. That's It's been Scotland's problem. They're making breaks, but just not, not able to, to get that clincher. And this was from a different angle. Ross Rain again, he's been outstanding. I totally agree with Shane here. But nobody never he couldn't. Greg Laidler was the only player there, and uh, and it was snuffed out. He's pretty quick, man, as well, isn't he, Ross Rennie, for a big fella? They're both... They're, 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 the whole pack, actually, I would say, in Scotland are playing very, very, very well. And uh, they're exerting real pressure on the Welsh team. Shane, what's happening to Wales' line-out? Um, wing well, we're, we're under <laughs> pressure a little bit there. No, look, I don't know much about line -outs, but, you know, that's, that's just, a, you know, either, either an overthrow or a poor throw. Um, you know, suddenly being put under pressure. Richard Gray again is jumping up there. He's almost coming across, coming across Ryan a little bit, there, I believe. But um, it's making it difficult for us. You see, both those, both those examples, not a Welshman got off the pitch. So clearly, there's something happening. Scotland are either exerting a lot of pressure, or the calls are not being made. And you, if you don't have a platform, you can't start the game. Do you think Wales have been affected by the loss of the captain? Well, it's it's it's, it's never a good thing to lose your captain so early for a game, but. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I think Shingler's done a, done a good job since he's come on. He's not an out and out seven. You can see that at times. But he's certainly getting around the field. He's playing well, playing well with the ball in hand. And he's getting a feel of the game. But, uh, yeah, I think they are missing uh, Sam a little bit. Not as many turnovers as you, as you expect for, uh, from a Welsh defence. It's almost now 400 minutes since Scotland last scored a try in the Rugby World Cup. And they very nearly got over. Very, at the end there, I mean, a, a, a really good last passage of play. And you can see him, this is multi phase. I got to the Stuart Hogg who's come on for Max Evans. And Lamont has a good break d down the side here, but Halfpenny just holds on to him. But good recycling, Lee Jones, Hogg, they're working off their wing at full back. It's very good. And then Scotland, we can see that another angle. Greg Laidlaw playing the game, ball in two hands. It's great to see. Good offload there by Stuart Hogg. Halfpenny, good defence though, wasn't it, Shane? And, but Scotland keep yeah. playing, and it's. They almost got there, they, they went all the way up to the, ha the, the try line. You could see the try line there, but Alan Jacobson, you know, I reckon if he'd gone, over that, ball, your head, if he'd gone over that ball and then passed it out, I think it was almost a guaranteed uh, try from Scotland. I think Lamont was in touch here, mind, to be fair, but uh, <laughs> no, you can see that, uh, you know, the lack of a bit of patience there, you know, that close to the line. 
you've really got to keep hold of the ball and, and just go through as many phases as possible. I think it was 20-odd phases before they got to there. And then to lose it that close to the line is, is criminal, really. OK, plenty of rugby for you this evening. Viewers in Wales can see Jonathan Davis and more of Andy Nicholl. Big day for Andy Nicholl today and Jonathan Davis in the Scrum 5 Six Nations special. That's tonight at 10 o'clock. That's for viewers in BBC Two Wales area. Of course, it will be on the iPlayer from tomorrow. And if you want to watch the best of the Six Nations this weekend, join us tonight on BBC Two. That's at 11.30. So the race for the Six Nations title is hotting up and BBC Sport has its own race, which needs you. Let's head out to Martin Williams, who's in the stand doing analysis for us. Have you, I hope you signed up for Sport Relief. Are you signed up, Martin? Yeah, I'm here, Jess. I'm here on a Sunday. <laughs> what are you dressing up as? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Um, <laughs> I just think at the moment, the Wales, I think the biggest thing for me is the line-out. You touched upon it in the studio. Um, last week, if you were out in Dublin, we scored two tries off the top ball, which is the most difficult to defend. You know, and we can't get that clean ball today. And what ball we are winning is scrappy, and Mike Phillips is under, you know, a lot of pressure. But you've got to take your hand off, hat off to the Scots as well. They're just going through phase after phase after phase. And, you know, you've, you've got to be a little bit worried if the Welsh boys are going to tire in the last 10, 15 minutes. Wales haven't won any turnovers. What have you made of that back row battle, Martin? Yeah, no, look, it's very, I think the referee is, is that kind of referee. He's not given that many turnovers at the breakdown area and, and penalties. So... You know, I think we're, we're disrupting there, but you're not actually, you know, we're not actually winning clean balls. So, you got, you know, like I said, that that that's a Scottish unit, is some unit. But um, you know, I, I think the longer they go, the longer it goes, the more hopefully our back row will come into the game. Martin Goodman, thank you very much indeed. That's the big question, I suppose, Andy. Is can that back row keep up that intensity? Yeah, I think they can, um, and I think the the general Scottish play in the first half was good, and I think they'll be they'll be they'll be quite buoyant in the changing room at the moment, just saying, just to keep playing the same way. I don't think Scotland needs to do anything differently. I think they'll probably need the bench because I think they're exerting an awful lot of uh, of energy there to play as they are, but still haven't been able to get that that telling pass or an angle to get the try that their their players really deserved. I was chatting to Matthew Rees last Sunday, and he was talking about the confidence that ripples through the well side. Have you seen that confidence today? They seem rather jittery. Yeah, they seem a little bit nervous at the moment I think uh, understandably so they knew there was a Scottish side coming down here nothing to lose really and they've certainly shown that in the way they've played they put, put Wales under, under the cosh a little bit and made it very difficult for us to play they've disrupted everything you know hence the line out and so on haven't really let us play so hopefully we'll see a bit more clean ball off the line outs a bit, bit cleaner off the scrums and uh, we can get that uh, back line running again of course Wales have been out in Poland for that well let's just say rather cold training yeah. I suppose fitness will count yeah, fitness definitely, especially when two sides have been going hard at it for, for 40 minutes. You know, can Scotland's back row keep that intensity up? I don't know. You know, they certainly seem to be doing it quite easily at the moment. Uh, our boys are fit, but in saying that, you know, it's going to be a battle in the second half to keep that fitness up. OK, Jim, thank you very much. Let's rejoin Andrew Cotter and Jonathan Davis. Uh, John has just been uh, shamed on the giant screen. Yeah. He's not going to join in the waving, is he? No. 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 Back from, We're going to leave uh, him up there until he does wave. He got on a later flight than me. <laughs> anyway, if you're just joining us and you see the scoreline three all, you might uh, wonder if you've missed one of those games. Well, you haven't. It's been tremendous entertainment, and uh, hopefully the second half will provide much of the same. And, and again, it might be who tires with all the effort being put in. Well, as the boys have mentioned, the tackle count. It's uh, you know in, in Scotland's favour, and they might their winners will will tire, but. Uh, Two things, the line out, they've got to tidy the line out up then because you know, they lose momentum when the, the throw goes uh, astray. And with them um, also, with Scotland, I think Andy highlighted, you know, the the depth of putting the ball behind the back row forwards. I just feel that they've got to hold their depth a little bit, target Jonathan Davis and bring the full back in. There's no kind of use of, uh, of the full back here as a support player. Ken Owens is a permanent replacement now for Hugh Bennett as we get underway in the second half. Nothing between these sides and nobody taking that for Scotland. Oh. And did uh, Custer get a little clip on that as well as it went past him? Denton and Custer having a chat there as the ball was in the air. You've got to call and what are that? He'll be pulling his hair out, whatever he's got left. Yep, it's got to be, got to be a call there. No call, Custer touches it what great start to Wales straight on the attack Scotland snoozing straight after the break so the Scarlet's hooker Ken Owens 
Again, this time, even though the challenge was there, Ian Evans took it for Wales, and what an early chance they have here in the second half, and carried by Ryan Jones, the captain. Ooh, good angle. Through. Jamie Roberts. Ross Rennie slows it down. No one! One through! Hands on! Hands on! No, you're on side! Toby Falatau, and Falatau up to within four metres. Phillips, quick ball. Wales with a chance. Jonathan Davis so nearly through. Phillips. He's repelled, tried to go himself. They've got to go right now because Strokosh is defending in the outside centre position and he is carrying an injury. A hand injury. Still to the pocket of forwards and Shingler is there. Scotland being squeezed right up against it at the start of this second half. Ryan Jones. And again, they're calling him over. They're short, they're wide. Wide it goes, space is there. Through for the try, it's Alex Cuthbert. And Cuthbert gets Wales off to the perfect start in this second half. Well, this is all from the, the restart. The half time, second half kickoff goes into touch. They keep their patience. It's a late ball. A late run by Cuthbert just targets Laidlaw. Pressure into points. Watch that. That's a big, big mistake when they had the momentum in the first half. But just watch. Late, late run, they target Laidlow's big man on small man, bumps him off. That's a one-on-one. -on -one. Just watch, Strokov is coming across. He goes, he's got to make that tackle. Unfortunately, slips out of the tackle. Just watch it, too big, too strong. No extra man, just a late ball. Laidlow drifts out wide, and that's a missed tackle. Well, Laidlaw lacking nothing in effort there, but lacking a bit of poundage. Unfortunately, yes, you know, sometimes it happens. Just pumped off, unfortunately, not through lack of effort. So half penny to add the extra two points. Which it is a seven-point flyer at the start of the second half for Wales. Oh, two mistakes, two mistakes. And they're behind. Just watch it. He shoots up. They've got the numbers. Just a missed tackle. Unfortunately for Laidlaw. Now Scotland have been forced into a change. We uh, heard that Strokosh was struggling a bit. Yeah. That's uh, John Barkley. And again, mis come on. mistake by Wales. Richie Gray. Oof. There's Denton. As Andy Nichols said, he won't stop playing Maidlaw. Maybe dented his confidence a little bit, but he's got to shake it off, get on with the game. Barkley finding cross, getting an early touch, Barkley. And again, look at the umbrella defence. Richie Gray, so much has always asked of him. Oh, trying to hold him up. And away! Oof. I think Wales now have got to keep their discipline, not give penalties away. And she's gotten to score something, and again... Loose ball, hacked to another chance for Wales, and Jonathan Davis looked to be taken down there. Yeah, Moves the, from the crowd, the, Lee Jones has it, the, Lee Halfpenny has him. I think Simon McDowell has his flag up, and that would be a penalty. And uh, Roman Poit has spotted it, and there is Mr McDowell. And again, that is another mistake. Three costly errors. Will it will definitely be a penalty? Will it be a yellow card? I just saw two players on the floor. Okay. I've seen 13 blue yep. tackle his opponent without the ball. Okay. Deliberately? Correctly. 13 blue. Deliberately? What's your recommendation? Yeah, recommendation is penalty and the yellow card. Where is the mark? The mark is oh. where the ball landed. Okay, just there. Yeah. Okay, Six. Thirteen blue. Thirteen blue. Thirteen, 13 blue. blue. Nick DeLuca on Jonathan Davis, and Nick DeLuca is going to have ten minutes in the bin. Blue and captain. The rest 
on the bench. Anguish in the face of Andy Robinson. Scotland will be down to 14 men for the next 10 minutes. Nick De Luca is off, and Wales have the penalty as well. Yeah, I think they'll go for goal. Yes, they will go for goal. Thanks, Simon. Good goal. Just watch. There's the kick. The money's on Jonathan Davis there in a the foot race. Tackle. Yellow card, definitely. Not a huge amount to yeah. argue about that. Know, it's a professional foul, it's a professional foul. Unfortunately, you have ten minutes. He doesn't agree. But I think, again, three errors. It could be ten points. And Scotland started the first half so well, ended it so well. They started the second half very poorly. And Halfpenny again has his chance. Boy oh, slips in the kick, Lee Halfpenny, but the kick sails through. And Wales have built themselves a 10 point lead within six minutes of the restart. And as I mentioned, they're just, you know, tip letters. No, Scotland. I feel we'll have to score tries to win this game. Whoops. Standing leg slips. Like Diego Dominguez used to do that regularly, but the kicks always went through. And Scotland have given themselves a huge amount to do. And Wales know that they are a man up as well. Shingler carries. Great Stolen play. by Ross Rennie. There's Barkley, replacement for Strokosh. No heads! Alan Jacobson. Eight away! Jim Hamilton. Jeff Cross. And Sean Lamont. No heads. Just watching one man in the ruck. No, why, why give a penalty away? Give, give Scotland the ball. Yes, advantage to Scotland. Penalty coming for them. A little bit of confusion out wide, so they'll come back for that penalty. I think that was Ken Owens, I think it was. Well, there's going to be a little chat here from Roman Poit to Ryan Jones, the Welsh captain. All the time, says Ross Ford, and he's Kelso Burr. Yeah. OK. Be careful with the players leaving their feet and on the floor, play the ball on the ground. Have a word. No, too many, too many infringement. Play off his feet. I have to say, Ryan Jones has been playing well lately. Good old Andy Robinson. Here we are, Robinson watch. It's like Springbok, but uh, with rage. <laughs> Heart on his sleeve. That's the knock-on. So Kelly Brown alongside him. They're Kelly Brown injured just before the Six Nations as Laidlaw steps forward and uh, three points for Scotland which they will gratefully take as they are down to 14 men and back within seven points change coming for Scotland yes Mike Blair is going to come on and he's coming on for Custer so that makes up now the Edinburgh halfback partnership I think uh, changes from half yesterday picked the pace up for England I think he's uh, hoping for the same effect this time Denton leaves Lee Jones and no doubt that he's to take the restart. And sends it to Hook. Feeds it in field to Priestland. No, stop! 
Up she goes with Laidlaw waiting. Halfpenny tries to take him down. Oh, lovely ball. Ball out to Sean Lamont, and there is Hogg. Hogg into touch. Easy, easy, guys. Here's Stuart Hogg, youngest man to play for Scotland, 19 since Gregor Townsend. Before that, another Hoyt man, Jim Rennick. Jim Rennick, fine centre. We see four minutes, 20 gone on the Sindin for Nick DeLuca. That's great play, that and is. Jamie Roberts. Just what Martin Williams said, off the top. Jamie Roberts on the charge, straight over the gain line. Numbers now. And now there is space out there, Jonathan Davis. Ooh, show and go. Arriving outside him. Wales desperate to make this man oh. advantage pay. I think it's a knock on, is it? No. I thought I heard him say knock on. <laughs> Lamont nearly forced a turnover. Jenkins. Oh, and the support is there Lydia. Great covering tackle by Rennie. That's great slowing the ball down again. That's brilliant, brilliant play by the Scottish forwards. Numbers out wide for Wales now, if they can get the ball there. And it's Hook, and it's out to Roberts. Great tackle. Jimmy Roberts, that power getting him so close to the line, but Wales bearing down on it again. Priestland tries oh. to make it through the offload. Went backwards, says the referee. Yeah. Still Welsh ball up to within again. three metres. And there were numbers either side now. Hook has it. Stay where you are. Phillips finds his captain, Ryan Jones. Still being held at bay at the five, six metre mark. Gethin Jenkins. And a step. Now they go. Trying to get it out wide quickly. Should be another try. It's Cuthbert. It's one to Halfpenny. Halfpenny has the try. Number two for Wales. And Wales are taking advantage. Well, well. Just too much pace up wide. Held their nerve, kept their composure, and just waited. Sucked the defenders in around the rock area. They went wide. Again, rushing out. It's the pass he gets on the outside of Lee Jones. And then once that happens, just watch this, right? One goes up, but then Lee Jones just gets caught, and Hogg has to come in. Natural finisher, half penny. Steps inside, you see. I just think he feels more at home in the wing where he's been uh, shuffled to because of the injury to George North. A cut, but again, very influential in that try. Just rode the tackle, went on the outside, pulled Hogg in. Easy finish, really, for Halfpenny. And he converts his own try, and Wales hit 20 points. Seven points that Wales have taken since the sin binning. They've had a penalty, and uh, Scotland had a penalty, and now a converted try. Well, crucial. We got Nick Deluca having just over two minutes left in the sin binning, and here come Wales again through Hook. Oh, oh. Gets that ball away to Jimmy Roberts. Falatau inside, and here goes Tony Falatau. <laughs> Trying for the offload, can't quite get it away. Blindside. Wales oh. arriving now, advantage to Wales. That's, that could be another yellow card. Unfortunately for Scotland, come from an offside position. And they'll come back for that, and uh, here yep. comes the chat, and uh, the yes. pocket is being reached for again. And as it was two years ago, Scotland have had two men sinbinned. Rory Lamont is off to join Deluca on the sidelines. Well, well, tails are up now. They will go for touch. Shot. 
no. I think he's going to go for touch, touch. I think Ryan Jones is saying go for touch. <laughs> he was on the touch line. Two men off, they've got to go for the kill, haven't they? As they do, and uh, Nick DeLuca is just about ready to come back on in a, a couple of minutes, but Rory Lamont is on his way over to join him. Well, the start to the second half has been tremendous for Wales, horrific for Scotland, 13 minutes gone, and uh, Wales 14 points up, three all at half-time, and Wales now going for the jugular. This is it, the line that is crucial, they'll just go through the phases and make the most of the extra men. Very difficult to defend now. Here they go. Piling on towards that line, Wales. Adam half Jones. Half penny, it has to score. Toby Falatau. Scotland trying to marshal their weakened, shortened defence. It's very difficult with two men short. Shades of the end of that match a couple of years ago. Let's go again, it could be the end of the match. And uh, Wales will have the scrum. Well, this will be interesting because they've got a, a full complement of forwards. Unfortunately, yeah, what are they going to do? Uh, do they take one out? I don't think they, they will. There's the yellow card, offside, again, no complaints, has to go. Another professional foul. And he's screaming at Nuke Deluca to get on, get on now. So Deluca is scuttling back onto the pitch, his what's, what's jail he, time served. What's he going to say, you know? Just make sure he has the ball to put that guy in. <laughs> That's usually what happens in a game of rugby. It's not America football. Well, Nick Deluca is back into a desperate defensive scenario for Scotland. Very timely, though, uh, Andrew. Two backs down. It's going to be very difficult to defend now. You know, I think Toby Falato might pick the ball up here. Lee Halfpenny, he's so difficult to defend. No, no winger. They've gone the right side, they have to score. Falato, Phillips gets it to Halfpenny. Halfpenny has the try. His second, Wales third. And they're cutting Scotland, cutting Scotland apart again. How crucial yellow cards are in the professional game. But the composure, very difficult to defend. Would it have been worth taking a, a wing forward out? Just watch, Mike Blair against three, uh, again, the offload is crucial. A bigger man. There you go. He, put, he reads it well, Blair, but unfortunately the offload, another try for Halfpenny. The good thing is he holds his run as well, it would have been so easy to overrun that, he just checks his run, doesn't get in front of the man. Well, 16 minutes ago, it was three points all. Halfpenny's second try, and now his conversion attempt. Great oh, strike. Beautiful kick. A lovely kick from Lee Halfpenny. And uh, Wales are running away with this match now. Rory Lamont can only watch, he is uh, the newest in bin player for Scotland. Effectively, they're playing 20 minutes with 14 men. It's a long way to go as well. Only 57 minutes. You've got to show a little bit of character here now, Scotland. Get, get the ball, keep the ball if they can until Rory Lamont com comes on. Nick DeLuca, well done. Close the space down very quickly. That ball was going wide. And the Wales now you have all that salt. confidence flooding back into the ranks. Long kick downfield. Flying, Very good he? chase. Oh, great chase by Cuthbert. Isolated. 
Al Kellogg is on for Hamilton. I tell you, they've done very well, Scotland. There, I thought he was isolated, and the turnover was happening. Ed Kalman also on in the Scottish front row for Jeff Cross to win his first cap. There we go again. Wales are going to run everything at Scotland now. Priestland finds Jamie Roberts and Gray and Barkley down him. Scottish forwards to have worked so hard. There's Ken Owens. Again, just watch umbrella defence. And here they come again, all Wales at the moment. Jonathan Davis out wide, his pass just behind Cuthbert. Oof. But Cuthbert uses that power again. I tell you what, Jonathan Davis throws a dummy, he is under the sticks. Because they're a man short, they're corner flagging now. Taken on by Lydiat. Wave after wave now. Well played. Well, Phillips is away, it's Scottish penalty, though they have a brief respite. Scottish forwards, you have to take the, the hat off to them. The work that they are putting in the cover. Well, let's uh, go to Martin Williams again for some thoughts. Yeah, we, we spoke half-time, you know, Wales couldn't win any clean line-out ball, and if you go back to the very start of the second half, um, Pester obviously makes a big mistake. Wales have got nice and simple, Ian Evans, middle ball. First time in really in Scotland's 22, they've been able to attack. Um, Ryan gets a little trundle to go, go forward in the next bit then, Jamie Roberts. First time we've seen him probably the whole game early in the second half. This is where Wales are at their best, straight off Mike Phillips. Over the game line easily, and from there we just build pressure and pressure and pressure, and the first try came from it. Absolutely, Scotland have cleared the lines with that penalty. Looking for Richie Gray again. Yeah, they need, they need to keep it now for a little bit, take the pressure off themselves. They're moving. There's two more, two more there. Look. Oh, look at that second half possession, 76 percent, and with uh, you know two men in the bin. It's a penalty. Take the penalty. Take the penalty. Oh. So Mike Blair sets off. Scotland with no thoughts but run this now and oh. Lamont. Sean Lamont now, he looks for support and there it is. Mm. And Scotland now shortly with a try. Out wide to Stuart Hogg who gathers it well. But on. no, he has lost it forward. Did he knock it on? It's Stuart oh. Hogg is denied. Does he knock it on? The players are incensed. If they have, they have butchered an easy, easy try. It's a decision. He said he knocked it on. Let's see. Stuart Hogg, let's have a look at this. Oh, that's a tough one. Oof. Does he have control of it? Does he knock it on? Let's have a look. Second. Oh, I think that's not that. a knock on. That is a try. Unfortunately, I feel that like Roman Potier has made the wrong call, unfortunately. He regarded that, didn't he? Well, cruel for Scotland, cruel for Stuart Hogg on his first cap. The Scotland are to have any hope of coming back into this match. They need to try quickly. Yes. They created that very well with a man off. I mean, to score a try against the head when you do have a, yeah. a man down. That's a big, big call, that is. Big call. Unfortunately, gone against Scotland. I feel he regarded that hog. Picked the ball up, and it should have been awarded. Scotland still with 14 men. Rory Lamont has another minute or so to serve. Good scrum. Falatau picks up and goes. He's so quick off the base. There's Ryan Jones. Turnover. Has to be. Penalty to Scotland. Holding on to the ball. Just see if Scotland will take this one quickly. Yes, uh, Mike Blair takes it and feeds Ross Ford. And not ten yards there. Laidlaw, Rennie. 
Wide again through Denton. Always punches a hole that time through Falatao. Ross Rennie. Richie Gray. Good tackle. Good tackle on Gray. No hands, says Roman Poit. Rory Lament just about ready to come back on. No. Can't come on until the play goes dead, though. Laidlaw, wide it goes. And out to the wing. And here is Hogg again. Does he have it this time? Held up. Great defence. No Scotland still have that ball. It's amazing, they look more threatening with 14 men. Oh, That's Laidlaw a just digs and gets in there, a very, try very for Greg try. Laidlaw. He just sneaked in there yes. so low. Well, he's been a scrum half, hasn't he? So saw the opportunity and finished it off. And they deserve that after the previous try being disallowed. Very good try. First try for Greg Laidlaw. It's amazing, they, you know, they've created more with a man short. And that's a try on the line. Very sharp. That'll give them confidence. Very simple, just underneath Toby Falatau. So he's played scrum half for much of his career. Feels perfectly at home there. Well, still 16 points adrift. But now 14 points behind Laidlaw adds the extra two points. And a first try in five matches for Scotland as well. And that'll give them confidence because, you know, they could create more opportunities in this second half. And Rory Lamont will be back on as well. Now Scotland back to a full complement of players. And uh, a long way behind still, but the final 15 minutes will be interesting. Dan Parks. Um, yeah, just looking at Mike Blair, what he brings to the team when he comes on. He's come on about 17 minutes ago, and just the, just the way he likes to speed things up. You saw by that quick, you know, we had the penalty, the quick tap, away he went, in support with Sean Hall. Just very unfortunate that uh, referee ruled the knock on. But um, that's certainly what Mike's going to bring to the last 15 minutes or so, and hopefully the Scots can get some ball and we can uh, get over the trial on a few more times. Dan Parks, thank you, and uh, there is Blair sending the little kick over. Oh, uh, Lee Jones racing up on it, but the ball goes loose. Ken Owens comes away with it. Yeah, very fortunate there, went backwards. And uh, Priestland had to think there about giving that pass, decided not to as he saw Ford and Barclay coming up. And here is Stuart Hogg, and oh, Stuart Hogg feet. is away, and Stuart Hogg into the open. Hogg trying to use his pace. Thought he might be able to get away himself. That's a very good run. He's got something, hasn't he, this young kid? He has got a spark. Nothing on you. Bang. Off the right foot. Leaves Jamie Roberts. Lydia misses a tackle. Great cover tackle, though. But it's a bright future in front of this kid. Stuart Hogg. As I said, it gives you better balance. He has the... Awareness of a natural full-back might bring that support play that has been lacking. And again, oh, a line-out. And backwards, and though, and Wales clear through Priestland. <laughs> Good distance on that kick. Massive punt from Priestland. Rory Lamont returns it to the same man. Priestland infield now. James Hook. He scoops it high. Laidlaw coming forward for this one. Oh, well played. Did well off balance. Hogg tries to free himself this time. Not happening. Yeah, it's not. Doesn't happen every time. Again. Richie Gray and Scott with a bit more life about them now. Deluca. Yes, very much so. Turnover ball, Wales ball. No Stewart. Penalty to Wales. They had won the ball and Scotland infringing. Do you go for goal here? Take it beyond the 14 points. Oops. Scotland players not entirely agreeing with that. No. Yeah, go for goal. 
There it is. I think that's Toby Folleto. Over the top. That's hey. very, very well done. Have a word, Matt. Have a word for 19. Quiet, quiet. Have a word. He doesn't agree. Excuse me. So at this stage, with this lead, two converted tries clear at the moment. It's the, the obvious decision to try and pop over the three points. And it'll be Lee Halfpenny, who's contributed a couple of tries, who's asked to slot it over. Perfect record so far. Commentator's curse. Well, grown, it's a, a strange, <laughs> oh, a strange and powerful thing. <laughs> yeah. Five there we are. six now for a half penny. Shane Williams, your thoughts? Uh, I'm very impressed with uh, Stuart Hogg uh, since his inclusion into the match. I think he's uh, again working very hard. Seems to want to have his hands in the ball and, and likes taking on players, and uh, and that's exactly what Scott will need at the moment. 17. Looks like he's probably booked his uh, place on the starting uh, oh, starting uh, lineup in, in well in two weeks' time. Hey, if you wear yellow boots, Shane, I think you have to be a good player to be honest. It do. <laughs> High ball, well placed, and Laidlaw again. He had Cuthbert upon him, did well. Blair finds Hogg, and there is Rory Lament. Definitely adds something, doesn't he? A balance. Well, the Scotland team management say that he has a bit of everything, but turnover ball gives Wales great chance again. There is Shingler, and Shingler almost through. He is quick. Wales looking to kill this game off. Yeah, he got numbers this side. Out it comes to James Hook, <laughs> Jamie Roberts. Falatau and Priestland and Gethin Jenkins will <laughs> well, stand off with Gethin's Ross Ford. Gethin's just come back from an injury spell, so I think he'll be blowing slightly now. Oh, great tackle, double hit. Ian Evans felt that. They're tired now, you can see. Falatau. A lot, of, a lot of tired legs there now. It'll be, uh, it'll be a few gaps opening up on both sides. Well, they open up now for Wales. Yeah. Priestland almost through. John Davis decides for the little kick. Strange one, but might work. Scotland trying to shepherd the man towards touch yeah. and uh, finally get there. Good idea, but not the right execution. Big double hit. Oh, great hit. Well, plenty of things about this match to talk about and uh, the other, I was about to say matches of the weekend, the match and uh, not quite a match of the weekend. Email yeah. rugbyunion at bbc.co.uk, the red button forum at five o'clock. You can also send your thoughts on Twitter if you include the hashtag BBC Six Nations. There they are, look, Oof, look at them. Okay, that's fine. He mentioned That's the fine. youngest That's man on the pitch, and uh, Ross Ford, the captain, Please, is off. Captain. Dougie Hall, uh, Scott Lawson, rather, is on in his place. These have been the tries of the match. The Cuthbert has had a great game. He has. He has. Lee Halfpenny, though, is always there to finish. Yes. And there was the try for Laidlaw for Scotland, that uh, first, that precious try, but Scotland Five away. under pressure here, secure the ball in the run line-out. There is uh, Scott Lawson there, replacement hooker. He's just been announced as Rory Lawson by the stadium announcer. If he's playing hooker, Scotland on a bit of bother. Well, I'm sure he could do a job. Blair. Plays himself, but it's, it's gone high, not too far. That's bouncing loose. And uh, Toby Falatau is running back there to tidy things up. Such a gifted footballer, that's a, Toby Falatau. <laughs> Long kick at an angle by Priestland. Hogg is waiting for it. And uh, calls for the mark. On your time. Oh, 
Well, Hogg does have a big boot as well, and he's taken Scotland up to the 10-metre line. Time off, two changing. Uh, replacements waiting for Wales there, Paul James and uh, Andy Powell. Six, There's Alistair Kellogg, who's a replacement for Jim Hamilton in the Scottish second row. So Adam Jones is up, Paul James will come on in his place. The heavy men are feeling the pace. They are, I tell you what, Lydia has been fantastic today. Coming back from injury, he has been immense. Absolutely immense. So Andy Powell comes on for him. And James on for Adam Jones in the Welsh front row. The time certainly against Scotland now. Well, Funtish throw to Ryan Jones. There is Shingler again, has had a good game. Coming in late for Sam Warburton. Priestland gets his kick away. Hogg and Rory Lamont coming for it. <laughs> Lamont takes it. And Rory Lamont this time breaching the defence. Trying to hold him up. No hands! Oh! Scott Lawson comes in, finds Laidlaw and uh, Sean Lamont. There's Lee Jones. Good tackle. Definitely added that little bit of spark, isn't he? There's Rennie again. And Scott Lurgan. Very creative in the second half. Well, they've had 15 very costly minutes. Yes, very much. Very much so, but. <laughs> offside, Andy Powell. Wales offside, Scotland attacking with a penalty coming. Still Scotland's advantage as Denton carries. Oh, Laidlaw sees the gap, and Laidlaw, the chip, and the chase for Laidlaw. Wales getting back there, the ball is loose, but it bounces to the hands of Jonathan Davis. I think he was unlucky there. I think he kicked a little bit too early. Just a little bit too early he kicked. Great break, There's though. Still just a little bit of distance between him and the man when he, yes. he sent that ball down there, but Scotland creating chances now. They yeah, are. Just watch. I think there's a block here, actually. Definitely, there's a run. They run a block. Jacobson it just kicks a little bit too early, and Hook gets past. But Cuthbert is there as well. well. He's had one try for Scotland today. Fancied another. I think you know he's he's been confident. He's done well for the first time. Maybe that missed tackle, but he's kept on going. The Wales have made changes. You can see Lou Reed is on there for his first cap. The Scarlet's lock has replaced Ryan Jones. I think I saw Lloyd Williams coming on as well. Yeah. But still at Scotland's attack. There is Lee Jones. He's definitely added uh, something, hasn't he? Blair. Turnover. Ball is loose. Did it go forward? No, says the referee. There was a Scott Lawson tumbling on it there to secure it. Picked up by Kellock. Five minutes to go. Still a 14 point lead for Wales. Rennie. And there is Hogg again. Sean Lamont tries to make his way around Andy Powell. Oh, nearly turnover, but. Laidlaw again. Yeah. Not too many numbers out wide there for Scotland. Laidlaw is uh, somersaulted back. Jacobson at full tilt. Ed Kalman there, a replacement prop coming in to play scrum half. Laidlaw now wide to Kellock, here's a Richie Gray outside and Richie Gray now to Lee Jones. Just laid back by Kellock. Scotland still trying to find a way through Barkley there. Wales defence again being tested. De Luca. 
Denton has hurled back this time. Still they pound away, trying to get that ball wide. Now Lawson struggling on. The ball is out the side and penalty. Sharp enough advantage to Scotland. Hogg tries to dance his way through. Penalty still coming for Scotland. Ross Rennie Good nearly run. through. Still advantage Scotland. <laughs> oh, a standstill for a moment and they look to take it quickly. Sean Lamont is called back. Uh, Lamont hurling the ball away meets with uh, the jeers in the crowd, but yeah. understand his frustration. No. Well, Scotland tried to take it again, and uh, again, Roman Quart has called them back. Because Wales are making a, a replacement. There is a mark here, Mark. What's up? No, wait, wait! They have to wait, don't they? It's, uh, they have to wait. There's a replacement being made, unfortunately. The clock, the clock is stopped. So on comes Scott Williams, off goes uh, Jamie Roberts. And now Scotland get their chance. There's Sean Lamont again. Two and a half minutes remaining in this match. And Scotland looking for their second try. And victory may be beyond them. Alan Jacobson. The Scotland forward still full of running. Doing very well. Still. Lear did well there. Kellock gets it away to Rennie. Rennie's been impressive as well, hasn't he? The forwards have been great. The Scottish forwards. Still hanging on to that ball, and De Luca sets it back. Jacobson again offloads to Rennie. Oh, Kalman loses it forward. And Wales have it. And perhaps Scotland's final chance. Oh, an ambition now from Wales. Stepping into the open is Priestland. To try this Jordan be. Davis and Lee Halfpenny outside. Davis has support. <laughs> and it's still there for Wales. Up to within the Scottish 22. Oh, penalty, great break. So nearly a marvellous try, perhaps, if it looked outside. But oh, hanging yes. on to the ball. Great. A good defensive play as well with Stuart Hogg up. Then they're off. What a game this has been. Richie Gray, second half. Fantastic second half. Here's Kellock, Scotland deep now, and the oh. pass is loose, and Rennie, you can see the players are out on their feet, aren't they? They've given everything. And uh, the ball has slowed down, I think, as much to give players a breather <laughs> as anything else. Listen to the noise in the Millennium Stadium in these final moments. Scotland again, again there is Gray, and Denton... The result is not in doubt, but you can still enjoy the rugby. It's a great game. Barkley Jacobson again. Release one! No hands! Blair one more time, and Blair... He's been very, very good. Isolated now, though, and trying to lay it back, but it'll come to <laughs> Wales. Watch and out. they might have the final say. Priestland cannot run anymore. He There's kicks. no one chasing. Oh, it's beautifully placed. And as the seconds tick away to 80, Warren Gatland says, I've seen enough, and we can have a pause, man of the match. Yeah, for me, I think there's my RBS man of the match, Dan Lydiard, has been absolutely fantastic. All the Scottish forwards have been amazing. So has half Benny and Cuthbert, but Dan Lydiard has been immense today. And Scotland looked to come away, but uh, the referee says, hang on, I'm a bit tired as well. <laughs> Well, an interesting game for Scotland, I mean, it's going to be defeat again, you can see it on the faces of Townsend and Kelly Brown and Andy Robinson, but some, some glimmers in there. Yeah, but, you know, I thought the second half, I think the Scottish park has been, has been brilliant. The back row is a new knit, you know, we've met with two yellow cards, they were up against it. But unfortunately, again, that 15 minutes of madness has cost them, but they've shown more attacking flair in this second half. And De Luca with a step, and Scotland from deep. Do they have something else? Stuart Hogg 
Well, Jonathan Davis is wise to his talents. Ross Rennie. Barkley hits the line at pace. The final passage of play in this match. Denton gets it away to Sean Lamont. A switch back to Blair from Laidlaw, and there's Denton again. Yeah. 19! Admire the fitness of these two sides. Yes. Backwards it went. Lee Jones is there. If he Chance. can free himself, he's quick. Just taken again by Jonathan Ten Davis, who's tremendous in defence. And that's it. Will be the end of it. An absorbing match, and Wales have won it in the second half. With tries, Scotland losing men, Wales have played wonderfully well, but it has been an enthralling match. It's been a brilliant match, you know, great attacking play, great awareness of space by both sides. You know, Wales, that 15 minutes of yellow cards, madness by Scotland, two professional fouls, and Wales went ahead. Scotland, though, I think, have played their part in this game. The attacking play of the Scottish backs, I think that'll give a lot of confidence going into the next couple of games. Well, words of consolation will always sound hollow to a beaten side, and Scotland have lost again, but there is certainly something there to build on and look ahead with. But for Wales, another victory, and now they can look ahead to playing England for a triple crown. Victory for Wales here at the Millennium Stadium. 27 points to 13, but... <laughs> you can see the effort these players have put in. Great second half, you know, ball in play was was very, very high. But it was just a great exhibition of um, of running rugby. And, I, you know, I could have given man of the match to a number of people, a lot of the Scottish forwards, Blair did well.